So It Follows is really good. I remember this movie came out like 2014, 2015. It was on Netflix at the time. And everyone raving about it saying that it's great. Don't think it's quite great, but it's close to being great, which is why I think it's really good. There's also a lot of discussion about what this movie means. Like there's a lot of like, you know, blood and like sex and you know, pregnancy and whatnot. I personally think this movie is about teen pregnancy because we get the shot of this one weird like hump scene, right? In her house, completely random, but maybe, you know, that's sort of the sign or sort of message that it's about teen pregnancy and then the blood in the pool and i believe there's one more one more thing that i'm forgetting to mention but i personally think it's about teen pregnancy so and other, other other people think it's something else i've watched you know videos about those very interesting theories but not only this is only a good scary movie but it's also like just kind of like a like a cool stalker not cool but a scary stalker story as well this girl has sex with this guy she gets like this sort of std or disease where the thing they call it keeps following them or her herself only and she only sees it and other people who gets this sort of disease i'm just gonna call it std because it kind of is an std they also see this thing following them so throughout the whole movie she's trying to escape from this this for, oh, also, that one thing, the first person, the first thing that she sees is this naked woman, so that's, I guess, okay, that, that, that's a bit, that's stretching it a bit, not gonna lie, but anyways, but yeah, she has to run, always consistently running away from the thing, and then in, in, in the opening, there's this one girl who gets it, she dies because she doesn't, she, so she just stops, she stops giving up, she stops scaring, and her legs fucked up, she dies, so that's eventually what happens, you know, to her and other people, so there's also different, like, people as well, there's like a little boy at a certain point, a tall man, an old lady a middle-aged woman and then just like a guy this is a different range of how the thing looks like and so uh, let me try to remember so uh sh so first at the school the old lady keeps following her you know it's a school hallway she, she thinks that do you see what she sees so she's at school this old she sees the old lady creepily walking up and they just focus on this old lady and all of the tingles on your body and the chills coming down every this bit of my body comes up so you know she's running from this old lady she's just walking slowly too and they're, they're not dumb they're smart and so she goes to her house she thinks she's safe because you know home everything's going back to their home is safe you know home is safety however that's not the case the thing eventually gets to her and then you know that also brings along her brings along her friends they're at a beach she thinks that she's safe they're not going on a road trip and then the little boy the thing that the little boy you know just comes in keeps on and it turns to like a girl randomly so she's slowly walking there's a shot where she's running away stealing her friend's car and we see her friends and then the thing just again slowly walking and it's just super creepy man it's like a like a stalker that's slowly just gonna inch towards close closer to you I don't know, I just find it to be really creepy. She's in the hospital. I don't remember which sequence of events happens, but... I really, this is the hump scene where, again, teen pregnancy stuff. That hump scene. I remember thinking it was weird, but thinking about it now, it is probably meaning that. As a sort of the climax, not climax, the end, where the other swimming pool, they have a plan to kill him by uh, electrocuting him. That obviously doesn't work. The thing throws shit at her. They put a blanket over the thing so they can see. Now her friends can see it. And then she, you know, shoot him in the head. And then supposedly the thing dies. And it does die with, again, the pool of blood, teen pregnancy. At least that's what I think what it means. And then, you know, they're all in a hospital. And then the one mistake... She decides to have sex with this one boy named Paul? I believe that's his name. This boy named Paul, she sleep with him, Jay, the girl. And then the end shot, again, ends on, on a cliffhanger, but also a creepy note. Where they're both holding hands, walking together on, on a neighborhood sidewalk. And then a thing, a person, a, a figure walks behind them. Assumingly another thing, specifically for Paul, the boy. I guess the cycle just continues, right? Even if you kill your thing, if you are infected, you sleep with another person, the thing will come back. And so you can't, you basically just can't have sex with us for living anymore, which is, uh, again, what makes you think it's about teen pregnancy? see it's, it's telling teens not to get pregnant when you're at, when you're you're young and you're at that age yeah just i don't know it's a really good like low budget too and this is just a perfect example of how to use like a low budget and a interesting and just kind of out there idea no, it's not out there but it's an interesting simple idea using a low budget creatively next the movie uh day eight october 8th will be better watch out i have seen this movie before but i was gonna say something next is better watch out